When you admire a football player, you're happy of their accomplishments and enjoy watching your team thrive. You watch them whenever you can, and occasionally you even get their poster and display it in your room. But what if the person you admire has a distinctive hairstyle? Wait, what, you might think? So let's take a look at NFL's worst hairstyles. Antonio Garay. We'll begin our list with Antonio Garay, a former nose tackle. The Cleveland Browns selected him in the sixth round of the 2003 NFL Draft. He also wrestled and played basketball at Boston College. Garay was a wrestling All-American at Boston College, finishing fourth at the NCAA Championships with his sophomore year. He also spent time with the Chicago Bears, San Diego Chargers, and New York Jets. Oh, and he's remembered for his outlandish hairstyles, as well as driving a Hello Kitty-themed smart car. Not a typo. Promise. Next up, Brian Bosworth. Bosworth was a linebacker for the Seattle Seahawks before entering the NFL. He was a two-time consensus All-American at the University of Oklahoma. His colorful demeanor, outspoken comments regarding the NCAA, and odd haircuts all contributed to his renown and reputation. In the NFL, he was less successful, as injuries forced him to quit after only three seasons. You've probably seen him in Hollywood flicks like The Longest Yard. Next up, Chris Kemoe Tao. The Tongan ex-pro football guard is of course on the list. He was picked by the Steelers in the sixth round of the 2005 NFL Draft after playing college football for the University of Utah Utes. He sported the business in the front, party in the back hairdo for a while. Need we say more? Next up, Dion Jordan. Deion Jordan is a Miami Dolphins defensive end. He was picked third overall by the Dolphins in the 2013 NFL Draft, but his career has been marred by bans for violations of the NFL's substance usage policy. But we're here to talk about his hair. Why, oh why, did he think that having tiger strikes on the top of his head was a good idea? Why? Next up, Pico D'Amata. Pico, a lot of people think you're cute. You were drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals in the fourth round of the 2006 NFL Draft after playing college football at Michigan State. In fact, you've spent your whole career with the Bengals. It's hard to miss you on the pitch, no matter where you are, since your lion mane gives you away. Next up, Rogers Cromarty. Cromarty was selected 16th overall by the Arizona Cardinals in the 2008 NFL Draft. He previously played for the Philadelphia Eagles, Denver Broncos, and New York Giants. Despite the fact that everyone remembers him for dyeing his hair and his beard lime green. Next up, Freddie Mitchell. This wide receiver spent four seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles. Mitchell was named a consensus All-American in 2000 while attending the University of California, Los Angeles. He was drafted in the first round of the 2001 NFL Draft by Philadelphia Eagles, and he spent four seasons with the team, culminating with a berth in Super Bowl 39 following the 2004 NFL season. Perhaps it was his hair that drew attention to him? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, it's likely. Next up, Fui Vakapuna. He's a former fullback who was picked in the 7th round of the 2009 NFL Draft by the Cincinnati Bengals. In his brief NFL career, he was mostly noted for his bad hair. That's not nice, but it's what people said. Why would anybody only shave the top half of their hair and leave the rest intact? It makes no sense. Next up, Jeff Reed. Reed is a former place kicker who was signed as an undrafted free agent by the New Orleans Saints in 2002. He was a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers from 2002 to 2010, and he ranked second all-time in points scored by a Steeler, trailing only Gary Anderson. Reed also spent time with the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. He's remembered as an oddball, given that he used to bleach his hair and then let it grow out. He also matched his girlfriend's clothes for the team's annual fashion show to raise money for breast cancer awareness. Reed voluntarily carried a pink bag around training camp one year because the club had no rookies on special teams, who were usually the ones to carry around the backpack. Next up, Pat McQuiston. McQuiston had been bouncing around from squad to team since 2006. Dallas Cowboys, Miami Dolphins, New Orleans Saints, Arizona Cardinals, Tennessee Titans, and Atlanta Falcons are a few examples. However, history will remember him as the redhead offensive tackle. And why would he shave the top while leaving the rest to run wild and free? Next up, Preston Parker. Parker, a wide receiver and return specialist, is presently unsigned. In 2010, he was signed an undrafted free agent by the Tampa Bay Bucks. He had some wild hairstyles over his career. We're not sure if he was going for dreads or if he was just tired of trying. Next up, Tequan Underwood. Underwood is a wide receiver for the Canadian Football League's Montreal Alouettes. He was picked in the 7th round of the 2009 NFL Draft by the Jacksonville Jaguars. He also had stints with the Patriots, Bucks, and Panthers. 
Underworld will be recognized for his unusual high top vein hair. And finally, Todd Harriman's. Todd Harriman's is an unrestricted free agent offensive guard. He was picked in the fourth round of the 2005 NFL Draft by the Philadelphia Eagles, where he spent the last 10 seasons. In 2013, he arrived at training camp wearing the following outfit. He was apparently inspired by the History Channel show, Vikings. Well guys, thanks for making it to the end. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to Sport Utopia, and ring that bell so you never miss a video. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.